You heard him. Let's let Big Scaly know the Dinobots are back in town. having better luck than we are. That should do it. Now to send Ravenous back onto Celluloid where he belongs. The sooner the better, Daddy. I don't think he likes being cooped up. Just a little more power and we'll be able to reverse polarity. Sounds like Ravenous's homing call. Mungado must still want a piece of him. Then why not give old Fire Breath the opportunity? Use Ravenous's bait. A sound strategy. Lead Humongado straight to the outdoor cinema. And send him back into the movie. Movie? Try Blockbuster? And the two differ how? Of course, because Ravenous and I get along so well. I'll stop complaining. Just another piece of cargo. Mm -hmm. About time. Seriously? Danny, we'll meet you back at the drive-in. And stay outside the city. This guy's not in a good mood. Thanks for the advice, guys. Think we can handle it. Ravenous directly in front of the screen. You heard him, Danny. Almost there, Blades. Just stay a little ahead of him. Easy for you to say. Yeah! Your rear end is not on fire. We're hit! We're going down! Blades! Danny! Talk to me! Are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. He barely miss my swash plate. <laughs> Ravenous is loose again. That's good. They'll keep each other busy fighting. Doc, roll him to the rescue. Just another few minutes. Um, I thought you said they'd fight each other. He also said they teamed up to fight the Supersaurus. And the Rhinoctopus. And now, apparently, us! So before, when Humongado was attacking the box Ravenous was in, he was trying to free him? These guys are... friends? No way! That just... makes a lot of sense, actually. And we are their common enemy. Chief! You have to keep them contained within the holographic field! Okay, Spike Gut. Enough is enough! I've had it with you! Don't 
Stone have anything nice to say? Don't say anything! Ready, Daddy? We only have one shot at this. We need both creatures inside the field. Where's Blades? what the sequel should have looked like. <laughs> okay, explain to me again. This is football? No actual feet are involved. The object of this game is to place the sphere through the hoop, hence the name hoop ball. How long have you guys been on Earth now? It's basketball. Tomorrow's a big charity game. Teachers versus rescue workers. Do we get to play? Looks like Cade's not letting anybody play. Cade, I'm open. Over here. Pass it, son. Here he comes, and yes! Owning the dribble drive, and the crowd goes wild. He's supposed to go wild now. Cade, this was a 3-2 drill. You're supposed to pass to Cody. <laughs> but I had the shot. No offense, Code, but in the offense department, you come up a little short. Cade, that's just mean. You're not the only person on the team, son. I know. Too bad, right? If I was, we'd win the tournament tomorrow for sure. It's not a tournament. It's a charity game. And the whole point is for my students to learn about teamwork. I'm not sure you're the best teacher for that. Maybe this game isn't such a good idea after all. Sorry, everybody. Haley, wait a second! That's right. Keep talking. I think she likes you. Hey, I am who I am, all right? If she's not okay with it, fine. Are you sure he's related to us? Where is everyone going? Aren't we gonna practice some more? You're a one-man team, remember? Practice by yourself. Griffin Rock emergency. Hi, Mrs. Niederlander. Hang on. Oh, boy. Oh. Ma'am, we had an agreement, remember? You promised not to call every time Mr. Pettipaws goes up a tree. Something bigger? All right. We'll be right there. <sighs> rescue bots, roll to the rescue. What on earth? I wouldn't say it's bigger, but it's definitely more. A routine patrol with four bots and stasis. He's poke in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now and in addition. Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Afraid, little fella. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Where did they all come from? How should I know? They just showed up. I suspected this might be where these frisky felines escaped too. And I suspected you might have something to do with these kitty clones, Doc. Not clones. Actually, they're products of the imaging chamber. Nothing but energy and crystals. Solid holograms, if you will. Owie! Your claws are real enough. And they make me... Uh, uh, just like the genuine article. Normally, the chamber only manifests dreams. But when I boosted the power on the device, it picked up my waking thoughts as well. For some reason, Mr. Pettipaws popped into my head. And the next thing I knew, copycats! But how can they survive outside the chamber? Don't they need an energy source? Precisely. To continue the experiment, I equipped each of them with an energy collar. And they've stayed charged all this time? Long enough to escape my lab and head straight for Mr. Pettipaw's favorite tree. Which means all these copies have the same memories and instincts as the original. Fascinating. 
Enough blather. My real precious won't come out until all those petty posers are gone. How do we get rid of these things, Doc? We just need to remove their collars. I now understand why humans consider herding cats the benchmark for all frustrating endeavors. Cats don't like water, right? Leave it to me. Hey! Come on, you fried my calm. Whoops. <laughs> Accident. Really? It's all right, Mr. Pettibus. All those bad cats are gone now. <laughs> and it took you long enough. Thanks for giving us a demo, Doc. I'm quite proud of the technology, if I do say so myself. Kate! What? I missed lunch. Kate, would you mind if I hooked you up for the demonstration? Just as long as there aren't any nightmare gremlins involved. No need to sleep or dream. Just let any thought pop into your head. Thoughts pop in his head, all right. Like balloons. Clear your mind. Then, when I throw the switch, think. Guess the overwhelming power of my brain was too much for it, huh, Doc? More likely, it blew a fuse. Easily fixed. Emergency dispatch. Cody, there's been a rock slide on Old Canyon Road. It's blocked in both directions. A car's trapped. Thanks, Jerry. We'll be right. I got this. Anybody want to help? Hang tight, Mrs. Rubio. We'll have you out in half a sec. More like half a month at this rate. Can't you guys move a few little rocks? Well, how about we just take off and let you handle everything? Good idea. Step aside. Get that one for me, would you, Heat Wave? Uh... Stuck. Stand back. Power up and energize. <laughs> You guys are good looking. Nice work, team. Hey, Cade, how about helping me buff out this scratch, huh? It's hard to reach. That scratch will still be there later. I'm hungry now. Uh... Everything in the fridge between two slices of bread. I call it the Cade. Where's the spaghetti? Under the pudding. You're not gonna eat that in front of us, are you? Ah, fine. I'll go to my room. You finished that already? Maybe you should eat a little slower. Maybe you should mind your own business. Let me help you with that. But you know what? Why don't you change to vehicle mode? It'll be easier. Okay, 
what's the catch? What do you mean? I just want to give you a hand. Let's see. 1014 is livestock on the highway? Incorrect. The proper answer is prowler on premises. Mm, do we have to do this now? Time, tide, and updated police codes wait for no man. New 10 codes, eh? May I get in on this? Very funny, son. I'm serious, father. It's an important part of being a well-trained EMT. I am impressed by your dedication, Cade. 1027. Oh, I've got it. Vehicle registration request. Am I right? Hey, Cade, you must be starving by now. Better make another sandwich. Okay. Emergency headquarters. Sure, hang on. Cade, it's Haley. Hello? Cade, I want to see you. You can't. You're not here. Okay, bye. Cade, wait, I... Something weird is going on. How's it coming, bud? My arm's getting a little tired. Just another few brush strokes. Mm. You want an athlete to model? Why didn't you ask me? I can lift my own weight. Watch. <laughs> Ow, my back. Ah! Ooh. Ah. Walk it off. Walk it off. Walk it off. Ah. Ah. Uh, what was that about? How's your back? Fine. How's yours? Hey, somebody left a sandwich. Mmm. And one minute he's in pain, the next. I mean, I know he eats a lot, but that is just... even for Kate, it's strange. First he's a jerk. It was then strange. He's... I Maybe somebody put an evil I spell am happy on to him. See these behavioral changes. Okay, okay, settle down. We'll get to the bottom of this. What's everybody doing down here? Why do you all look so serious? How can you possibly eat three huge sandwiches in a row? I'm worried about your back. You may think it's better, but... Why were you being so nice to me? It's creepy. What do you mean? I'm always nice. Something's you pretty nice. weird right now. I wouldn't exactly I say you're nice. Enough. Huh? <gasps> there is lots of me. Four more Cades? Uh, just what the world needs. What are you looking at? You don't have to be so rude. You know, if I always wore slippers, I would never have to tie my shoes. Good thinking. Very practical. What? Uh, I, uh, uh... Chief, are you there? We're all here, Doc. Along with a few guests. The strangest thing happened. I was just going over the security video at the lab. Apparently, the chamber had already started processing Cade's thoughts when the fuse blew, when I replaced it. The chamber powered up and completed the job. Cade must have been thinking about himself. There's a shock. It is odd that the manifestations of Cade left the lab, but with no power source to fuel the energy crystals, I'm certain that they've all disappeared by now. Not quite, Doc. Great Fermi's Neutrons! A colony of Cades! But how do they exist without a power source? More important, how do we get rid of them? Well, hey, 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 no hurry. I finally got myself a basketball team. Let's go, Cades! Okay, boys, now that you're all color-coded, let's see if you all share my awesome physical abilities. Show me what you got. Okay, now move the ball around. Come on! Sorry, I was thinking about marshmallows. Hmm, interesting. They each appear to exhibit different behavior. So they're not exact copies? Each one seems to be an extreme part of Kate's personality. Hey, back off, Red. We're all on the same side here. Then play like it. Jeez, why can't you all be like me? Oh, now you're mocking me? Come on, guys, break it up. Hmm. 
Instead of just running all over the place, here's a new play I came up with. Running all over the place, this is a tried and true offense. Tried and failed is more like it. Who do you think you're talking to? Well, right now, you're talking to yourself, genius. The zeros are the fools. The X's are the gods. Please, three bunnies. I can touch my nose with my tongue. Look! I don't know about you guys, but I'm loving this. Oh, thank goodness, an emergency. This is Chief Burns. We'll be right there. A broken pipe at the natural gas reservoir. Must have been caused by the rock slide. Cody, take the command center. Cade, all your friends better come along. We can't leave them on their own. Mm, what a smooth ride. You're good at this. Can we keep them, please? Come on, Heat Wave, push it! We have to be there first. Dude, I'm only telling you this because you're me, but you're getting a little annoying. A little? Hey, hands off! If you guys are gonna both be namby pambies about it! Guys, be careful! Uh, both of you, let go! Or not! This time, these extra cades have to go before they do more damage. We'll take care of the gas leak. You take your posse back to the firehouse and get a hold of Doc. Maybe he's come up with a way of getting rid of them by now. I'm not driving them. You'll be lucky if I ever give you a ride again. Then how do we all get back? All right, nobody touches anything, got it? Pete, watch your elbow. Sorry. Clouds look funny from above. I think you have my seat. Guys, though. guys, please. Hello? Haley, what are you? I told Kate I was coming over. Is he around? Which one? I mean, no, he. Uh... I'll go look for him. Wait here, okay? <laughs> That was the longest trip of my life. Cade! Yeah? What? Hi. Who? Yes? Haley's downstairs. The rest of you will have to wait up here. <sighs> she wants me to apologize. Never apologize. It's a sign of weakness. No. Relationships require communication. I like penguins, flowers, and ask forgiveness. <laughs> no way this guy's part of me. They're all a part of you. Like a one-person family, where everyone kind of balances each other out. You go apologize for me. I'll just mess it up worse. No! If he can do it, you can. He is you. Cody's right. Give it a shot. All right. He is so gonna say the wrong thing. I think he'll get it right. Noble. Told you. Well done. Eh, not bad, for a twerp. There's the leak. The main valve's stuck. It must have been hit by one of those rocks, too. All right, we better evacuate the area before... the Cade doppelgangers are still around. With no energy source, they should have disappeared long ago. Which means they must have an energy source. The donut. Cade, you had one in your pocket when you were hooked up to the machine, right? Do you still have it? Me too. Chocolate! I never throw anything I away. I ate mine. So what are you saying, that donuts are powering these guys? Not the donut. Of course. Brilliant observation, Cody. If you... The original Cade were carrying some sort of energy source it could have replicated to the others, just as the donut did. But I'm not carrying any... My comlink. The battery's still sparking. 
It's been putting out a low level of power, enough to keep the energy crystals vibrating. Cade, all you have to do is take away their comlinks. Once the manifestations are separated from their energy source, they'll disappear. Well, guys, breaking up is hard to do, but... Cody, Cade, can you read me? We're here, Dad. We need your help. We're at the reservoir. The entire team is hemmed in by flames. Don't worry, Dad. I got another team right here. Water reserves are almost depleted. Blades, get Danny and Graham out of here. We're not leaving you behind, Dad. They're right, Chief. Too dangerous. We'll get this. Charge. Nice work, guys. Who do we think first? Me. 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 Him. One thing you all have in common. You're heroes, every one of you. <laughs> well, I am. That they're just, you know, the parts that make me me. Thanks, everybody for putting up with all of them. Well, guys, I can't think of a better looking crew to hang out with, but time to hand them over. Is it weird to say I'm gonna miss those guys? Well, some of them. The nice you. Well, maybe he'll be around more. He might even pass you the basketball once in a while. Nah.